Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. We're going to take a look at your love life. This is January 15th through January 31st, 2021. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Sagittarius. What's up? Give that thumbs up. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload weekly readings. If this one hits home for you, Sag, the link to the extended reading is below where we dive just a little bit deeper. See what's going on with your person. See what they're up to in their everyday life, their energy, etc. Also, if y'all need a private reading, that info is below. Keep in mind, it may or may not resonate. This is general. If not, check out your moon or your rising sign. All right, let's do it. We're going to use the Rider weight to do your main spread and the Fountain Tarot to clarify. Sagittarius, we are ready to go. What happened in the past? Ooh, we have a page of swords, a little spy. What's going on right now? The four of wands. What's on your person's mind? So if you're already connected with someone, what are they thinking? If you're in separation, what are they thinking? Well, they're not thinking much. They're resting, four swords. All right, how do they view you? What's their perception of you? The 10 of pentacles. How do they feel deep down? What's going on in their emotions? They feel the knight of cups. Scorpio, how do they wanna move forward with you? Oh, well, look who's showing up. It's you, the king of wands. Looking right at that Knight of Cups. All right, somebody's got a lot of passion for you, Sag. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries, passion, romance, wanting to offer you a cup. What's, what's coming in that you don't see yet? Yep, the Page of Cups, that little messenger. So if you're in a break from someone, you broke up, you're wondering what the hell's going on, what do they think? This is how they feel about reconciling, the King of Wands. And again, if you're already with someone, even if you're single, this is future energy coming in. This is just what's surrounding Sagittarius in love. What's your advice from the tarot? Oh, take my cup. No, you take my effing cup. It's the Two of Cups. All right, a relationship, a very strong connection here. What's the outcome for the two of you? Oh, well, there you are again saying hi to mom. It's temperance, major arcana for Sag. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, you're all up in my energy. I love you too. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, show me this energy, please. This is for Sagittarius. Keep uh, also too, you guys, hang out till the very end of the reading. I'm gonna pull a few cards for career and money. I'm gonna do, it'll just be a quickie. A quickie. I'm going to do a longer, more detailed career and money reading later in the month, but this is just something a little bit extra at the end of the reading. All right, so let's use this fountain tarot to clarify. All right, show me Sagittarius's love life, January 15th through January 31st, 2021. What is the most prominent energy surrounding Sagittarius in love? Sometimes I get up in the comments, well, I'm completely single. I'm not dealing with anyone. Well, you might be, right? This could be future, time's fluid. So this is the most common energy surrounding you guys right now. All right, let's take a look. I always pre-shuffle really well, y'all, before the videos and I meditate. I do all that good stuff. So we are set. All right, the past, we have a page of swords. What's this about? The page of wands in reverse. So somebody, there's your energy said, Somebody was keeping an eye on you, Sagittarius. Ooh, a little tablecloth here is running. Little threads. This tablecloth is about 100 years old. Uh, page of Wands. So watching, curious. There's still this energy of curiosity, but not communicating. So again, if you're in separation from someone, they were still watching you. Maybe seeing what you were up to on social media, asking about you. That Page of Swords is inquisitive, but they weren't communicating. All right already partnered with somebody, this is somebody that's not opening up, but there's a lot of like, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, right? That's the page of swords. So not opening up, but very curious, more to uncover. Right now we have a four of wands. What's this about? Mutual energy. The page of coins, Capricorn energy. What's this page of coins with the four of wands? The strength card. Some of you are connecting with a Leo for sure with the king of wands and the strength card. See, somebody's holding back. Somebody wants a long-term relationship with you. For a very small portion of you, you're already in a relationship and somebody has a crush, but they're being friend zoned with that page of coins. So it's making them like hold back. They're very attracted to you, but they know that they have to like hold back. They can't act on it. That's for a small number of you. Cause on this person's mind is you guys are on a break. 
And if you're already with them, they're trying to get their thoughts together. They're not speaking up. What's this Four of Swords, Libra energy? And the Seven of Cups. Whoops. Somebody's wondering if Sagittarius has other options because you guys are on a break and they still are very attracted to you. They still want to offer you some sort of uh, emotion here. Others of you, again, this person's just not speaking up because they're overwhelmed a little bit with that Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is like, oh my God, it's like emotional confusion. There's so, so much to pick from that they don't know what the hell to do. So they're just being quiet. How do they view you? The Ten of Pentacles with the Chariot. Sign of Cancer. Give me one more card on the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot. That's that water uber. Yeah, see? The Three of Swords. This is just how their perception of what you want. It doesn't mean it's reality. Uh, again, some of you are already committed and somebody has a crush or somebody wants something with you, but you're already married or you're in a long-term relationship. You've got a lot going on with that chariot energy. You're gaining a lot of success, a lot of victory, and you've just kind of moved away from this person. If you're on a break, you've already moved on from them because you want something stable. You may have already found it. Um, if you're currently partnered with someone, they know. Like if you're already in a relationship with this particular energy, this person, they know that you want a long-term relationship. And if you don't get it, you're just moving on. Because this person's very quiet. They're very reserved. Um, but again, with that Three of Swords, again, a lot of you, um, this person, your this energy that's coming through wants to be in that relationship with you, but they can't speak up because you're with somebody else. Why do they feel the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius? What is this? Knight of Cups. Oh my God. The Knight of Cups clarifying the Knight of Cups. I got to hit my vape. Sorry, that was rude, but I had to. What's this Knight of Cups and their emotions? The Six of Cups in reverse. They're still holding on to this, clinging to the past. Something happened, a break, or um, you guys wanted different things, and, and they're not having good memories of it, and they want to come in and apologize. They still want to offer you a cup. Why the Six of Cups in reverse? Yeah, see the hanged man, but you guys are stagnant. And again, those of you that are already have something going with this person, they're just kind of waiting. They don't know how to speak up. This person needs to speak the F up or sit down. How do they see moving forward with you? The King of Wands. They know that they're going to have to take action here. What's this King of Wands about? Sagittarius. The Six of Wands in reverse. There goes that Leo energy again. Two cards of Leo. Yeah, see, they feel like they failed in some, some way here with you. They don't see success here with you. They feel like a big fat loser, but they're attracted to you and they know they better pony up. Why is the uh, King of Wands, Six of Wands in reverse? The magician, see, they're very, this person's very attracted to you. Listen, this reading's not going to resonate for everyone. It's just impossible to do. So if it's not your reading, just politely move on. But this is a, what I'm getting strongly, what I'm feeling and in my intuition is this is a reading for Sagittarius who... I've been getting this for y'all a lot lately. I don't know why that message keeps coming. That's the message I'm supposed to spew for some reason. But this is for Sagittarius who may not, you may not even know this person exists. And somebody's got like this big time um, crush on you. They want to be with you, but you're unattainable for some reason. That's what's coming through in the story. And they want to manifest that magician Virgo Gemini energy, super, super magnetic using the power and the laws of attraction, but they don't know how to do it is the problem. What you don't see coming is a page of cups. See, that's very young, immature energy. Yeah, and the nine of coins, and you're like, no thanks. You don't, you're not feeling this, Sag. So again, for those that you know want to say, well, I'm single, I don't have anybody. Okay, but you have somebody that's interested coming towards you, most likely, um, you know, a crush or something like that. But it's like different levels. You either don't see this person as like, commitment long-term potential or you're already involved with someone and you're going to remain you won't come into unity it doesn't look like with this person because your advice is the two of cups why is this here this page of cups and the hidden factors that flirty young messages kind of like a little bit shy right and then you've got the nine of coins and i think that that's you guys just kind of doing your own thing here um your advice is this two of cups see there's a relationship showing up here yeah and the moon a lot of things going on behind the scenes 
but here you are with this two of cups and the tarot is telling you, go ahead, you know, and if you're single right now, you've got a relationship coming or you've got somebody interested, but I don't think you're going to be interested. The moon is like hidden. It's like dark or it's things that are going on behind the scenes and they're telling you to use your intuition on this. Yeah. And the hermit and to seclude from this energy, not in a mean way, not to be mean. It's just, you know, a lot of Virgo there. Somebody sees you as a shiny new object, Sag. Why do they view Sagittarius as this Ten of Pentacles? Let's clarify that again. Yeah, and the Tower. Yeah. You view this energy as just not something that you can build upon. You just kind of feel like it's quicksand, right? You don't see anything that you can kind of establish for long term here. And your advice is to kind of just do your thing, concentrate on your relationship, and if you're single and this person's coming in and you're not interested, they're telling you to keep manifesting the relationship that this is not it, <laughs> right? The unknown, you've got something else coming. The outcome is temperance. This person is going to be patient. There's your energy, Sag. Just temperance about. And yeah, see the world in reverse. Again, we go back to the story because listen, I'm reading for a lot of people. So I have to tell different stories that I'm seeing depending on where you fall in this reading. All right. It's not to confuse anyone. It's to make sure that I'm hitting everybody's energy. If you're on a break from somebody, you wanted a long-term relationship. You may already be in, a, in another relationship, but this person still feels a lot of passion for you, but they're quiet. They don't know how to act upon it. Probably because you, you know, you were like, no, it's over. It's done. What For whatever reason. But temperance in the outcome, that's your energy. So you're all, all up in their energy, but they're going to be patient. It's also a reconciliation. It's somebody saying, hey, here, let's bring balance back to the situation. I'm willing to cooperate now. We have unfinished business, the world in reverse. So I'm just saying, expect that. There's somebody here that doesn't quite, isn't quite ready to let you go. And if you're already connecting with someone, they know that you want a long-term relationship and maybe they haven't been giving you that. They've been too isolated, too kind of withdrawn. They're going to, that energy will change here in the next several weeks. They're not ready to, to, to close this out yet. And I think that you're going to, the advice for those of you that that's your story is there could be a relationship here, right? There's more to uncover. There's more unknown energy. You have to research this a little bit more. Go within, make sure that this is the person you want. And for those of you that are completely single, or in a long-term relationship outside of this, somebody's got like a big crush on you that's coming in and you're just not feeling it, but they're not gonna give up so easily. Bottom line, you got somebody in your energy that's not ready to call it quits or won't be in the future. Somebody's got a crush on Sagittarius. All right, that's what I've got. Okay, so it doesn't look like many of you are single or will be single for long. All right, let's do some money. Let's see what your career and money looks like. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is the 15th through the 31st of January. I'm just going to do a few cards, three, three cards. See what the energy looks like. What does Sagittarius' money and career look like? 15th through the 31st, 2021. If you're looking for a job, if you're waiting on a bonus, if you want more money, if you want a promotion, if you're looking to start a business, something like that. We're going to see what the energy is. What does your money and career look like? All right. These cards have been nice and shuffled beforehand as well. All right. Let's do it. Sagittarius. What's up? We have the hanged man. We have the star. And we have the ten of wands. This is a time of reflection. Pisces energy. We've got Aquarius. We have two major arcana. So some big shifts are coming. With the hanged man, this is, you're reflecting. You're trying to figure out, do I go for something else that I really feel like I could excel with the star card? Money, career, whatever that is for you. This is a time to pause and to kind of maybe even change perspective on what you already do to bring in that star energy, which is hope and faith. Some of you are looking to go into healing, some sort of healing work, whether that's a business or whatever, your main, your main business. The hangman can be a very spiritual card. And so, and the star is all about healing and manifesting. You have the Ten of Wands here. Ten of Wands, you know, people always look at it as such a negative card. 
but you know, in a career money reading, it really does reflect the energy of just being overburdened. You've got a lot going on. Who doesn't right now in career and money? You know, times are tough. So it's a heavy load. There's a lot that you're trying to carry. Um, but I see a time right now of reflection. Do I stay? Do I go? How do I bring in more money? There's something that I think I could be really good at, but you've got a lot going on. Why is this hanged man here? We'll clarify this. Yeah, the three of cups. You're reflecting on celebration, coming together, helping others, unity. The three of cups is an agreement between two or more people, a group of people. You may be working with others right now and you're just kind of like, oh, is this really what I want? Or do I want to go out on my own? Why is the star here? Aquarian energy. Yeah, look at that. The ace of cups, more healing. A lot of you are definitely thinking about doing something healing, whatever that means to you. It could be a business. It could be you're in, you know, nursing or you're a doctor or you're a therapist or whatever this is. And if you're not doing this yet, this is the focus that you're thinking about doing. But you have to close out a cycle first. You have some stuff to, to complete. You've got a lot going on. It'll happen. What's this ten of wands? Yeah, the five of wands in reverse. Again, some of you are in a group environment through in your work, your career, something like that, where there's gossip and there's just like bantering and conflict and bullshit, and you're just, it, you're tired of it. You want to walk away from it. What's this five of wands? But it's not quite time. And that's why that ten of wands is there, the world in reverse. This will not be a period of moving towards this star and ace of cups. It's manifesting. It's right here in the middle of the reading. Reflecting. How do I come to some form of an agreement or leave some bullshit gossip behind to manifest probably something in the healing or helping others in some way? And the tarot says it's not quite time. You got to close out a cycle first. Two cards of, of needing to close out a cycle. Some of you need to clear the air first before you can manifest this beautiful energy of the star and the ace of It's here. But there's stuff you got to do first before you can get here. What does Sagittarius need to do here? Give me one card of advice. What do they need to do before manifesting? Get your money together, maybe. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, it is a business. The Queen of Pentacles is very valuable, stable, grounded. She's got her money together, too. She or he. Save a little bit. But she is a business owner. But she's also a parent, right? A mother, a husband. It doesn't matter. Male, female. It's just the energy, again... I've got a family, I've got two dogs, I've got, you know, my career, I've got a lot going on. So before I can manifest this, I got to make sure it's all stable, I'm taking care, I'm nurturing, I'm doing everything I need to do. So the time isn't quite right to do this. Keep doing your research, keep, you know, gaining clarity and ideas on this. Hanged man, it's coming. All right, that's what I have, Sagittarius. I love you hard. Love me hard back. I will see you guys over on the extended reading where we will dive into your person. Again, somebody's got a little crushy crush on Sagittarius. So let's dive into their energy and see what they're up to. I will see you guys over there. I'm loving you hard. Love me hard back. We'll speak soon. Take care.